Good morning, everyone. I'd like to welcome you to George Mason University, Department of Physics and Astronomy. I'd like to start by showing you a short video of some of the exciting things going on in our department. Please uh, watch the video. Our faculty love teaching at all levels, from the elementary courses to some of our advanced graduate courses that are part of our PhD program. They also love working one-on-one -on -one with students in doing research. The research here covers a wide range of areas. Some of it involves understanding the fundamental laws of nature, while other research has practical applications. These include developing new types of quantum computers, able to solve problems no conventional computer could tackle, new more sensitive methods for detecting explosives, and new types of systems for harnessing and storing renewable energy. One research group is working to develop a cure for epilepsy by understanding better how the neurons of the brain communicate. Often, students are paid for their research work in addition to earning credit. Students also gain experience in writing papers, giving presentations, and developing mathematical and computational tools and experimental skills. Okay, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd be glad to uh, take any questions you might have about uh, the video or the department. Excuse me, just a second. I've got a little bit of an itch in my back. It's driving me nuts. Well, it was nice seeing all the fun the faculty and students were having, but what about uh, getting a job when you graduate? Well, nationally, students with a major in physics and astronomy are some of the, the best paid majors in the country. Employers seem to realize that if you've got what it takes to be a, a physics and astronomy major, you've got what it takes to pretty much uh, be a success in any technical field. Um, our, our students that go on to graduate school, in fact, get into some of the, the best graduate schools in the country. Well, what about my son getting a position that he graduates from Mason? Well, George Mason is blessed of being in an area, the greater D.C. area, that has a wide range of, of different opportunities, from national laboratories, private laboratories, commercial organizations, things like NASA, NIST, NIH, uh, Department of Defense. Uh, all these organizations literally hire hundreds of Ph.D. students uh, every year. Uh, in fact, my, my most recent Ph.D. student just got a job making more money than I do. Seems like the physics students and professors are just having fun, though. Don't physicists take their work seriously? Well, we do have a lot of fun, um, but we also take our, our, our work very seriously. Uh, but let me tell you about some of the, the more fun things that we do in our department. While I'm doing that, here's some pizza that we bought so you can uh, enjoy that. Whoa! Oh hey guys, okay, just settle down. This, this could be a joke. Uh, it could be a first contact situation. We want to make sure we don't do anything wrong here. Be careful. Um, uh, who, who are you guys? What? We are Plutons, from the planet Pluto, of course. Well, well, maybe you haven't heard, but Pluto was recently downgraded from a planet to a minor object. So you say we have recently downgraded Earth's status to that of a minor object. Hmm. Well, I, I guess that's fair enough, but what are you doing here? We learned that you are working on a NASA mission sending a reconnaissance spacecraft to Pluto, and we want to tell you not to land on our planet. We are prepared to repel any attempt at landing with great force. I don't mean to show disrespect, but you guys are kind of small. I don't think NASA is going to take such a tiny threat very seriously. Come on, everybody. We got to do it. I don't know. You know they want to invade our world. All right, okay. Stop. No, but they, maybe we could make a deal. We have lots of smart, hard-working physics students. We could send you if you promise never to land on our planet. Oh, that's a very interesting idea. We're always looking for very smart students. Um, what do you think? We only have two spots left for the fall semester. Yeah, but look how tiny these guys are. We could take 200 of them. <laughs> okay, you've got a deal. 